what up world, Shmir JT. Uh, I'm just going to do a little review. I just picked up, wow, well, this little booger right here. It's pretty cool. The uh, Ruger SR9C to complement my SR40C. This is actually my um, fly case, <clears throat> my hard case that I actually choose to take with me when I fly. But I uh, picked up this 9C for a really, really good deal. I got the uh, 9C itself. Uh, well, of course, the uh, 9 plus 1 mag and then the 17 plus 1 mag and one of the Serpa holsters, which I already had one. Uh, it's epidextrous for this gun since it has the same weight and dimensions, whatnot. Uh, now, I got it from a lady. She had a belt loop. I prefer the paddle. However, now it's just cool to kind of have those options if I want to use battle paddle and not have to take anything off. These are my blue cards required in the state of Nevada. Definitely got to have one of these things if you uh, want your gun legal here in Clark County, Las Vegas. So, it is what it is, but at least they're both legal now, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, now, SR9C compared to the SR40C, again, really good guns. 40, a little bit more pop, a little bit more kick, and it's also a little bit heavier. It's a little more top-heavy uh, in order to deal with the recoil issues that you might have from shooting a bigger bullet. And then here, we have the spear gold dots, which are what I carry, and then some range ammo that I use when I go up in the mountains to go, you know, get a little shooting done. I will tell you this. Oh, for all you gun nuts, as you can see, my gun is already in the lockback position. It is actually pretty clean. I just clean them after shooting them. Uh, that is the 9mm, and this is my 40 again. Actually, pretty decently clean, considering that I just wanted to go shoot. Want to, uh, you know, do a little bit of work or something before I did this video. Inside of here, you'll also find just some paperwork on laws when you get ready to go fly. Some people might have trouble when they go to fly, especially when you go to declare your firearms. So I have a copy of the TSA. Then I have a copy of the uh, federal law. I also keep copies of these actual documents in my backpack as well. Because a lot of times, they will want to ask you about opening your case when legally you're supposed to be the only person that's opening your case. So if they open it, they either have to open it in your presence or not open it at all. Don't let them tell you that when they go to cut off your, your deal. Uh, mine has the little locks that are actually built into the front of it. So uh, these seem to work pretty good. And they don't actually need me. I don't think I've ever been called even with the flying. So I think it's pretty good. But uh, hands down, this little thing, SR9C. And I'm, I'm pretty new to pistols. They're just all around. Pretty new to pistols. Uh, I've got a Ruger P95 also. This thing is pretty good. I started out shooting the 40. So I think I set the bar really high for myself. When I went to buy the 40, I had the choice between the 40 and the 9. And I kept kicking myself in the ass saying, I should have got the 9. I should have got the 9. It's too late now. Can't take it back. And so now I've just gotten used to the 40. And then this thing comes up. For sale for a lady who's moving back to California, lets it go really, really good deal, really good cheap price, and I think uh, I think I won in this deal. So you know, we are open carry state. Now, I've already sent out the applications for my uh, concealed permit, so it's really not that big of a deal for me. But that's why having the Serpa holsters are really, really, really good. But I will tell you this: if you do not have a Ruger handgun. You should probably get your Ruger handgun. I know there are a lot of guys out there who really fight for the Glocks, Keltex, Berettas, uh, even the six hours. But these handguns, and I've actually shot the other ones at the range, especially this one in particular. It's small enough to conceal, uh, but you still have the ability to take this gun out any way you want to take it out. And it's just nice. I mean, look at that. Look how small that is, man. It's nice. You can take it wherever you want to take it. And uh, me, myself, I'm about 5'10", about 200 pounds. So being that size, it's definitely easy for me to take this gun and conceal it. I think it actually would be a decent concealed uh, carry weapon for a woman, actually. Just depends on her size. You know, if she's thick thin, maybe not. But also, when you get this, you can change out these little um, flats so you can have it just a flat extender ergonomics of this gun are great a lot of stuff that i read online i guess i could in essence say i'm kind of echoing that and this one i think she actually turned hers around didn't even notice that up until now and see mine is a little bit more flat but i know she has like a little bit of a hump i think she really enjoyed that it's a really good gun though you know, this is just my personal take on it. You know, feel free to leave some comments if you've got any questions i've learned a lot of things along the way this one has a little bit of holster wear 
Uh, the takedown is really, really simple and easy. I won't field strip it. You guys can find plenty of YouTube videos that'll do that for you. But uh, yeah, if you got anything you want to say, you got any questions you want to ask about this, especially from a person who's fairly new to handguns, uh, you know, write some comments, send me some information in my inbox. Uh, you can tweet me if you want. There'll be a Twitter link on here somewhere, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, that's it.